Trump was held in contempt in order to pay $9,000 and threatened with jail by the crazy judge, uh, Mershon. In other words, Trump can... By the way, when you look at him, what's your first thought? Yeah, that's mine too. Now, his daughter happened to work for an organization that raised money for the left, for the Democrats. A anyhow, hey, li listen, these guys are all tied together. Mershon's daughter was a senior executive at a super, super liberal Democrat firm. She worked with Joe Biden. She worked with top Democrats, including Barack Obama in the past. And the name of the organization is called Authentic Campaigns. Oh, yeah. We're going to have an authentic campaign in the United States. Yeah, all run by liars and thieves. What they do is digital campaign work, online fundraising. They do mobile messaging, web design, and guess what? Her name has been scrubbed from the website ever since her daddy took on the job of being the judge over Trump's case. Unbelievable. And this guy, by the way, he's a... He's, a, he, he, he's not really a judge, okay? He was appointed. He's a graduate of a very famous university, Hofstra, Hofstra University? Where's that? What, what, wait, it's, I think it's a second or third rate liberal brainwashing institute located on Long Island. I, 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 I think it's about, what, 3,000 square feet? <laughs> I don't know. Who ever heard of Hofstra University? I never heard of it. I know a lot of people went to law school. Um, this guy is only an acting U.S., uh, I'm sorry, New York Supreme Court judge. Acting. He was put there by the political left to do their lawfare against their opponents, including Trump. And <laughs> unbelievable to me. And breaking today, the appeals court denied Trump's request to have Mershon recused. Of course, we expected that. It's New York. No way you're going to turn on their own. They're all part of the same, you know, system working together. And it's really, to me, it's just more proof of the weakening of our justice system, especially in New York. Many business owners, and I know a lot of business owners in the New York area for, have for many years. Many of them are, if not already moved out, planning to move out of New York in the coming months, uh, regardless of who wins the election in 24. And that's all because uh, New York has just gone over the edge. Many of their um, famous buildings are now being used as housing uh, for immigrants. Uh, we have bu business owners, building owners, and hotel owners have all kind of sold out to the government uh, because it's big money. And in a way, I guess, you know, you can't blame them. They're, they're trying to get as much as they can. Uh, they realize that this is a problem, but here it is. These business owners are actually helping the demise of America, all for the sake of the mighty dollar. So there is a wealth transfer going on right now. Those of you who are Christians, you heard about the wealth transfer in the Bible. There is a great wealth transfer happening right now. We've got trillions of dollars being spread out all through the economy. Uh, the problem is um, it's not going into the right hands.